to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. What does Satan really want? What has been his drive for all this probably millions of years and he's not rested why does satan want your family listen carefully why does satan want your health why is he afflicting you with sickness why does satan want to destroy the ministry the man of god why is he destroying your business it's an old story and if you do not know what is satan's motivation you will be shadow boxing around issues not knowing that the issues predate you there are two things that Satan is looking for and this is the basis for the entire study of demonology and deliverance. Two things. Number one, dominion. Number two, transgenerational allegiance. This is all Satan is looking for. His obsession for dominion and number two, his obsession for transgenerational allegiance. This is what birthed the concept of witchcraft, altars, patterns, everything you see today that destroys people, destroys family, is a structure driving that goal. Dominion and allegiance. Two scriptures and we'll begin to pray. Matthew chapter 4. Satan's obsession for dominion and Satan's obsession for allegiance was demonstrated in the very temptation of Satan with Jesus. Please look up. Are we Bible students? Then was Jesus led up out of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of who? The devil. Now, um, let's go to verse 8. Verse 8, quickly please. Verse 8. Again, this was the third temptation. The devil taketh him into an exceeding high mountain. What did the devil show him? The, all the kingdoms of this world and the glory of them. Say dominion. Scripture is revealing to us now Satan's obsession. He said all these things I will give thee. Please go back to verse. Yes. And the glories of them. Now verse 9. All these things I will give you. If you will do what? And dominion and allegiance that's it satan can suddenly become a giver if you satisfy that condition that means i don't need this keep that scripture please verse 9 i don't need the money look up please believers i don't need your health i don't need your political position I don't need your prosperity. I don't need your ministry. I don't need longevity in your family. It's none of my business. There is one thing I need. I need you to fall down and worship. Nebuchadnezzar, when you hear the sound of the trumpet and everything, fall down and worship. The image of the beast, fall down and worship. How could a man be so driven by this agenda? Can I tell you this? You can easily know who is under the influence of Satan by their obsession for these two things. Their obsession for control, not just dominion, control, and their obsession for human worship is a classic character of Satan. This is all that Satan looks for. Please listen to me. And do you know what? Satan hates you today because of one thing God gave you. That image and he declared that dominion mandate and compelled creation to answer you. Now you have become the arch enemy of Satan. Look up please. If Satan, if God suddenly removes his image from man 
and give it to stones you will beg satan you will not get his attention he will not need you again because it's not you he's looking for what is man that thou art mindful of psalm 8 let's wrap up psalm 8 verse 1 O lord our lord how excellent is thy name in all the earth who has said thy glory help those under the anointing we're about to pray i sense a very strong anointing here verse 2 he says out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained strength because of thine enemies that, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger now his contemplations verse 3 when i consider the heavens the work of thy fingers the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained verse 4 what is man what is the psalmist had to sit down and wonder lord what is man that you did not couldn't you have just used satan couldn't you have just used the archangels you left all of them and you came to bring another humanoid species what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visitest him verse 5 for you have made him a little lower than angels the word there is elohim not angelio elohim you have made him a little lower than yourself in ranking you have crowned him with glory and honor verse six thou has made him to have over what the works of thy hands and you have put all things all things hold on he didn't say all things on earth no all things all things aside from yourself it was adumbrated in the honor of joseph he said joseph i now promote you in everything will be under you it is only on the throne you will be above me this is what was given to him that was what the devil was fighting so that journey from his brothers to potiphar's wife to everything was fighting that position is the same thing that happened to esther the same thing that happened to mordecai these are all adumbrations of what god did to man thou has made him to have dominion over all the works of your hands you have put all things under his feet can i tell you this please look up man not god is satan's arch enemy believing that god is satan's arch enemy is an insult no because even when they were fighting for the body of moses you see that now you see how powerful this ranking is because as at the time satan was fighting with michael over the body of Moses, Satan was fighting as the prince of this world. He had collected that authority and Michael had to respect him. So he could not say, I rebuke you. He said, the Lord, the authority that is higher than man, the only authority higher than man, I use that authority to rebuke you. Because if Satan had told, if, if Michael had told Satan, I rebuke you, it would be a compromise of the order. When God exalted man, he was exalted even above the cherubs above every other thing the lord said to my lord sit thou at my right hand where are you seated far above thrones dominions every name that is named listen please hear me you have to understand and believe what i'm teaching you it's not about the all time your village your grandfather was an innocent man who did he just entered the middle of an old story so satan created systems to make sure there is transgenerational allegiance they will stop rain and punish men who do not know neither will they understand so they will go to satan and say let rain come and let our children eat say here is the agreement i will send the rain remember he's a giver suddenly if he will get dominion and allegiance so the fathers on behalf of the land will say satan hunger is killing us through those mediums we will serve you they call him different names but he's the same person okay we will give you a deity worship this deity and the fathers came 
grandfathers will worship the deity and for as long as they worship the deity he will use the authority of man to bring rain the authority of man is what satan uses to bring rain listen carefully when people are sick when he finds out that people are not that allegiance is compromising there will be a widespread problem within the land and the elders will run back and the, the priest or whatever medium can say i'm hungry you who are eating i've not eaten what do you want sir make sure your children come and worship me and you innocently they give birth to you you are shouting before you even know left and right they made incisions on your body and made covenants and satan says that's right and then now you just stand before jesus and say i receive you as my lord and satan says what did you say do you know what that means that means you are saying from me oh everything that comes from me will no longer serve you and satan says you have drawn the line everything that is a threat to his allegiance he will fight it through men he will fight it through systems can I tell you this? Every, please look up. Do you believe what I've taught you so far? Whether you are Yoruba, whether you are Igbo, whether you are South South, whether you are the Caribbeans, you are Northern, you are Spanish, I don't care what region. This story has brought all of us into one singular basket this is what satan wants he showed us what he wants and dead jesus don't think he'll be afraid of you he said jesus there is no need to go through all this rigor just bow let me tell you something happens to satan when you worship are you seeing what happens when you worship are you seeing why worship is powerful so he looks at you going down to your knees and says for who now and you begin to call his name jesus and he will say you know what afflict this man in a way that will make jesus not look like savior and when the affliction gets too much somebody will tell you there's somebody in the village and you will go and sit down and say i knew he was going to come hear me i'm teaching you what i'm teaching you because truly your freedom has come can i tell you this this is why songs that talk about surrender are so powerful because in doing that it is like it's the it's, it's an insult satan says for millions of years can i tell you this do you know satan actually believes that the day is going to come when he will compel the entire creation to come under his lordship he really does it is only you who does not believe it satan is firing on all four cylinders he still believes he believes that all your family will serve him forget that you are so when he sees you listen every battle that you read in this bible came as a result of satan's perceiving it as a threat to his agenda when he killed children it was not about children he perceived they were saviors in the children when satan causes barrenness today satan does not need children satan he he can peep through the window of prophecy and hear when the holy spirit is speaking to you and say madam a prophet is going to come through your womb and he knows that that prophet will break a 150 year old idol practice he will bring the barrenness of Zechariah and Elizabeth was not about barrenness it was about John who will ordain Jesus who will save the world please look at me God is giving us intelligence apostle I am a sincere person I don't steal I don't kill yet there is an attack on my business let me tell you interpret it now from the lens of who Satan is interpret everything that happens in your life from the lens of who Satan is 
not the lens of the village you are coming from that's too small not the lens of the mean it's not about you and your boss from a bigger picture your boss has no business with that he's only an available vessel everything satan will use to frustrate you until he brings you to a point of dominion and transgenerational allegiance I know this what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world Satan can give you the whole world but he needs something your soul I'm not wasting your time I apologize I know our time is gone we're going to pray but please hear me now you can go back home and know that it's not about the problem that happened in your family it's not about what happened with your grandfather at all it's not even about what is happening between your father and your mother it's not about what is happening with your education Satan does not need visas no it's not about your finances he has seen that your finances will do something that will threaten that agenda he will attack it with everything he has please look up my dear one it is not about marriage and children it is because he has seen that in it satan does not attack anything for itself he verifies is there a component in your lifting oh so you now become governor or you become head of parliament and in it many people will receive scholarships to go to good schools and there is a chapel there they will hear a man of god they will be filled with the holy spirit you will not win that election he will fight you what does satan want i will be like the most high i desire it everywhere you see satan he's obsessed with his image being erected and men bowing to the image he does not want animals when he came upon Nebuchadnezzar, he said, let a 90 feet stature be built. Ah! But only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are thrones, there are kingdoms. There are mountains and there are thrones, but only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are thrones, there are thrones, there are kingdoms, there are mountains and Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskade Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotos Koto Brekateka Nekata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline